Hello, I'm Nari McDiamond for Australia's Mining Monthly, here with you for the second in our three-part series with Hexagon. And in this conversation, we're going to determine just what the real demand is for better managing information in mining. And I'm keen to hear from our panellists. We have Paul Thornberry, a Senior Manager with Hexagon, James Cornweibel, a Director with Deloitte Australia, and Chung Chen, Operational Manager with Critical Minerals Company, Aluka Resources. And James, if I pose the first question to you, what is meant by the term knowledge management in relation to maintenance and operations? Essentially, knowledge management is the process of capturing, managing, and then sharing that knowledge to drive uh, performance, reliability, and efficiency um, in our operational maintenance activities. You know, we can think about it in, you know, how do we record the actual experience of the maintainer and operator in the field? You know, what were their challenges? Have we got any missing process steps or additional steps? We've got any spares or equipment that's missing and, you know, general opportunities to improve that work activity. You know, the, the challenge then is then how do we capture the those opportunities that are identified in the field and then build them into the procedures or systems so we can capture that the next time that work activity is completed. You know, one of the, the challenges we have also is um, next time that work activity is completed or, or need to be undertaken, the individ, it's often another individual that um, will complete that activity. And so, you know, how do we, you know, quickly and efficiently you know, understand how we did that work previously and build that into the new way of working is really how we close the gap in that continuous improvement loop. Well, you mentioned some of the challenges there of how this looks in the field and Chung, with your operational experience, what do you have to say about this? Yeah, look, um, John sort of tight touched that um, like briefly and as well really not the nail on the head there you know mining as an industry we face high workforce turnover and you know in in certain companies this aging expertise as well so really this sort of effective knowledge management um, really preserves the critical operational insights and really uh, reduces training costs and minimize errors um, you know, even in Iluka, we sort of have a lot of uh, what you call uh, people who have been around for a long time and they have that deep knowledge. But, you know, trying to systematize that, in fact, we're going through some of that processes in trying to ensure that continuity of knowledge so that our business can still operate when um, these key dependency risk people um, leave the business or retire. So, yeah, definitely echo the same sentiment there as James. So, And Paul, with your Hexagon experience, what are some of the efficiencies and, and productivities that can be achieved with better knowledge management in mining? Well, we sort of to move on from what uh, James and, and Chung have just said as well, it's, it's, it's the it capturing of that knowledge and information, whether it's being from something quite simple as in like the manual for a piece of equipment or that's make it easy available to your to your end users your 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 people who are working in the field the experience that you gather from people and Chung mentioned there about the aging workforce uh, a lot of the work can be repetitive in nature but if it's the first time you're doing it and you, you haven't been seen the problem before the correct knowledge management and capture of that knowledge then allows you to rely on the experience of the people that have been there two five ten years previously and you're using that information to make the whole job more efficient. And then on a larger scale, you're bringing all this knowledge together, converting into easy to access data in a knowledge management system. It becomes more uh, widespread throughout the company. You're driving productivity, you're driving efficiencies, especially like, as Chung also mentioned, the, the churn in workforce in the mining industry is quite, um, it's quite extreme. I mean, people tend to work in the mining industry for a long time, but they tend to move from a company to a company every three to four years. So instead of that knowledge literally walking out the door to your competitor and that experience and knowledge is captured and that allows the people that are replacing them just move in more efficiently and make sure the productivity stays at that, that top level. So I think it's, it's, it's efficiency. It's making sure you don't have redundant effort. You're not having to re re reinvent the wheel, rediscover the process every time somebody leaves. And that's where it becomes very helpful for the company as a whole. 
Well, that's some clear benefits that you've outlined there, Paul. But Chung, I'm curious, at an operational level, how does the average worker view knowledge management? Is it important? Yeah, definitely. I think um, the guys on the ground tend to um, operate with sort of less of a view of that because they're dealing with, with day to day. But certainly people in planning, um, especially technical and really subject matter expert knowledge, if you can sort of codify that and sort of, you know, in this realm of AI, I'm talking about sort of uh, introducing agentic types of um, algorithms into sort of preserving that real subject matter expert knowledge that I think is the next horizon here. And that's something that I think management should actually start thinking about. You know, quite often in, in our industry, especially in operations, we sort of don't have the time to go into and sort of get the fundamentals right, setting up good systems, uh, setting up good produc production accounting frameworks to then understand what we actually get out of the ground. So that's something that, you know, just I personally am pretty passionate about in terms of understanding, you know, what are some of the assumptions you know, um, that we assumed to generate value and how we actually are we actually able to get that out of the ground? So, um, but in order to sort of get that out of the ground, we really need to have this sort of subject matter experts um, in there and their knowledge base sort of codified all along the, the value chain. And so really it's not just operations. I think it's the whole of business that really needs to care about knowledge management. Um, to that point, it's not just in operations or maintenance either. Uh, it would also apply to um, HR policies and practices, uh, environmental approvals as well. So yeah, that's, that's my take on that. James, what would you add to that? Obviously, it's not just operational planners who should be bearing this in mind, as, as Chung mentioned. Who else should be really considering knowledge management and how it can benefit the operation? So I agree with you know, Chung's um, points there. Knowledge management really is the responsibility of everybody within your organisation. I think it's really that cultural mindset um, is, you know, a key part of um, how we continuously improve and drive a, a safer and more efficient operations. Uh, Paul, what would you like to add to this? I think that the, the final thing to remember um, about knowledge management is um, who we're actually trying to help. I mean, um, I mean, I'm sitting here in a nice shirt. I'm in an air-conditioned room. It's nice and pleasant. Uh, some, a lot of the people that rely on this information they're working, you know, 12 hour shifts. They're in not ex maybe not extreme weather conditions, but it's a long day. You know, you're working through the night or you're working through a whole day. And so the ability for them to capture or, ca or to capture information as they're doing it and put it in the knowledge management system, add, append the information, and then the ability for people to get that information to help them do their job. That's basically at the end of the day, what we're trying to do. And if we keep focus on that, we, we put that in the back of our mind when we're building these systems and expanding these systems. And that's the key thing. That's where the efficiency will come from, making sure the person at the end of the line, to use that old expression, at the coal face, actually can access that information, use it to the benefit. That's good for them. It's good for the company. And then it actually makes the knowledge management system more efficient because the more they use it, the more knowledge goes into it and it expands and expands and expands. So that's why it's very important design and aspects of these systems. We keep the end user front and foremost in our mind all the time. That's a really important point, Paul. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And I look forward to speaking with you next time when we're going to take a look at digitising human activities.